Up next is a lightweight championship fight between the Korean Superboy, Duo Shore, and Jeremy Stevens. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Choi is 29, Stevens is 34. He will have a one inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. If you see folks fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins. 19 losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, presenting the challenger, Jeremy Lil Heathen Steven! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Duho Choi. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. striker taking on a true 5 2 And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Choi. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
I go for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He's not pity pass. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants to feel it. It's a good right hand right there. He's on bad. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Stevens gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Counters with a left punch. Stevens just out of range with that right hand. Choi's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. here. Nice head kick. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Beautiful punch. Right hand landed. Whiffs on the straight right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Nice right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Flip with a left hand counter. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Straight right hand, no good. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. So 39 total strikes have found the target thus far for Jeremy Stevens. Keep it busy here on the clinch. Back and forth we go! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. How about that shit? Ground and palm combinations. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Let's punch into that clinch this round, right? He has no answer for your clinch. He's not defending the right way. He's open for those knees, those elbows. 
all of that is working. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's go fight. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Joy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Hook is there again. a big elbow there. Oh, nice. He got him. Nice athleticism from Stevens to avoid that potential takedown. Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. Oh! Now he's got the tie finish. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a wool beater, but defensively, he's been strong. Wow! Oh! Trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Oh, big left hook there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Just misses with the straight right. Nice kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Stevens. I mean, he's cutting his out the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. That strike blocked by Stevens. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order it. Oh. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. What a performance. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, so a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 11 seconds of round number 2. Going the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Right, so there he is, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And when you're taking on lightweight number one contender types and knocking them out like this, just scary to think just how high the ceiling is for this young man. Lightweight is the 